What's up? This is Zero Echo from Rixel.com, and today we'll be playing some more Orcs Must Die. So we got a career 397 more kills. So today we're gonna play the next stage, and we've unlocked the explosive barrels. So, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna upgrade any of my traps. I'm gonna wait till we get, like, a, a really hilarious trap, and then I'll upgrade that one. Because I feel like most of these traps are pretty standard. I'll just wait till we get a really good, uh, a good one, and then we'll go from there. Oh, my friend, uh, Puss Boots is on. But, uh, here we go. So we're gonna open up my spell book. I'm gonna equip my sword, um, the new bomb. We're not gonna get the spike strips, because I feel day. like the orcs just run around another those, fortress, so another rift to defend. it's not really worth it. They always seem to break through the doors. <sighs> they always do. We should do something They always do that. break through the doors. Ooh, so I'm just gonna set like a a wall of death here, and I think that should be good enough. Good enough for now. You know my strategy. I go for headshots in the beginning until it gets a little bit too crazy. And plus, I feel like it kills him. It just kills him so soon. Wow, these traps are awesome. Yup, headshots. See, now, now it's a little crazy, so I can switch to melee, trying to knock it back into the traps. The traps are most of the So we survived the first wave. And try to set some more of these traps. Looks like I could only do one. Let's see how well that these bombs. One for you. I'm not sure if I have to set them off or if they set them off by just walking. I'm not sure if I hit it with my sword and that's it off the bomb, but this game is getting surprisingly more difficult. I thought it'd be like an easy one. Actually not. Alright, two headshots. I hope they let you uh, upgrade the bow and arrow because I like it. It's fun. Get a headshot on that guy. Alright, that was uh, fair enough. I think our kind of spiked wall strip here is doing pretty well. I'm just going to extend it out a little further. Go from there. That's oh, bombs are great too. I'm actually not sure if you get more points for getting headshots. I, I initially thought that the 15 that popped out of their heads was a bonus, but no, I think you just get 15 uh, magic, whatever, just for killing them. So I'm not sure if headshots really do anything other than look cool. That being the case, I might just go to town and just do rapid fire. There's no real benefit to doing headshots. This guy. Alright. One down there, another one. Wow. It's just like a wall of doom over here. Um, and then another strip here. Just in case. I doubt they're gonna get that far. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna let the, the spike ships do most of the work. They, they got a long way to go. I mean, they gotta first all of this. I'm just gonna do rapid fire at this point. I'm not convinced that the are too much. Sometimes the orcs died. I can't tell if they're still uh, dead or not. The game, like I reviewed in episode 1, is great. You know, it's 50 bucks on Steam. I think it's fun. As you can tell, it, it is fun. So, you should definitely try to pick it up. Sorry about that. I was, uh... I didn't mean to bring up my Steam menu. But, I hit Shift to make you run quicker. I must have hit Shift Tab. Alright. 
Yeah, I'm losing a lot of health. I guess it'll be getting harder and harder. It helps that, uh, we knew what kind of strategy we were gonna go with this whole lined wall of, you know, spikes. I think that helped a lot. Alright, so now we're gonna get ready for the next round. I think our defenses are pretty solid, though. Uh, I was just talking to another one of our editors here at Rixel, and he said that headshots actually do give you more points. Uh, I don't know where it does, but I'll take his word for it because, you know, he knows his shit. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to get more headshots now. Although it's pretty hard. I mean, it's a headshot, right? So, but he says it adds more points, so we'll go from there. And plus, you know, it, it kills him faster, so it's definitely worth it to uh, get these headshots. Oh, got past. oh man, I'm about to die. You know what? This game is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I'm gonna I'm gonna hang back just because I'm so low on health. But yeah, the game is a lot harder. I didn't think I'd be struggling by like stage three. I guess I'm not struggling, but I'm about to die. So as far back as possible to make as many headshots as we can. Yeah, it would be quite silly if I died right now. I'm really trying not to die. <laughs> Just gotta text. Sorry about that. Sweet! Dance of victory! Uh. Yeah, this game's hard. You know? I'm not sure if I got five skulls that round, but... Maybe. All right, yeah, five skills, cool. Here are my stats. I guess I did it right. And then we're gonna go to the next stage. Upgrades? Nah, no upgrades. You guys know my stance. We're gonna upgrade like a super trap once we get one. So our next unlockable item is the wind belt, which we'll see in the next episode. And thanks for watching. That's it for today. Subscribe, thumbs up if you liked it, and leave your comments below. Also, please visit our website, rixel.com. Have a good one. Bye.